Hey there YouTube, Parker here with episode 24 of Pokemon Leaf Green. And I just wanted to apologize real quick for not posting videos very frequently lately. But if you can't tell, I've kind of been ravaged by a serious cold. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's pretty bad. So yeah, I have had a cold, had a busy weekend, just all that kind of stuff. So, oh god, I'm starting with Eddie against the water type. Um, today's episode we're going to be going through Route 21. Um, come on! That was like one damage away. And hopefully, getting to Giovanni, the final gym leader. Because I don't think we have any more interruptions in, uh, red version for the last gym. So hopefully we can get through that. No, you're not fighting War Turtle. I don't care how brave you are, Eddie. You're not fighting War Turtle. Um, how are all of you, though? How are, how is everybody? Hope you folks are good, because, uh... I'm getting better. I'm on the climb. Brick, brick. Okay, so War Turtle. Wow, this guy's Pokemon are very resilient. They're like, um, yeah, that uh, those awesome attacks you're throwing our way. You know, forget those. So War Turtle's taken down. Now the next gym leader is gonna have. I think it's like ground. It's like sort of ground, normal fighting. He's got like a mix of stuff. So I think he is ground, but that that's the different kind of stuff that's in his gym. So I caught my Pokemon at sea. You don't say! Okay. Oh, Jack only has one Pokemon. Unfortunately, to star me. Unfortunately, I forgot to switch Eddie out. So, Eddie, I'm sorry, but you can't tank this. We're gonna bring out Rasta. <clears throat> I wasn't really seen. I don't know. I don't remember who I've been using quite a bit, so. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you don't make a video for four days. Five days, whatever. How many ever days it's been? And now Rossi's about to get utterly confused and just start punching himself in the face. Now, the thing is, is Rossi doesn't have hands, so he's... I'm imagining that he is smacking his head against the ground. But wait, we're in the water. I don't know how he's hurting himself right now. Alright, sorry. I'm time for you to die. So I actually have a buddy of mine that showed me... Well, Nick, actually. Who has uh, showed me the uh, manga of uh, Pokemon. And I haven't checked it out yet, and I need to, but I guess they, like, kill each other in it. Like, there's an Arbok that gets, like, cut in half. That's pretty ridiculous. Especially when you think of, like, this Pokemon where it's like, Oh my god, I fainted you! Except for that one time when Gary was all offensive. Okay. We're gonna switch over to Reginald as our lead guy, because he, he kind of needs to get some level ups. Now I just wanted to show this route because there's a double battle, and also because um, it's just a nice place to get a couple level ups before uh, you fight the final gym leader. Now he, uh, I think he's gonna have some high level guys. I don't remember exactly, but it should be pretty entertaining. So we will see what happens. All right, fly and uh, no, go back. Let's do quick attack on Starmie. Let's try to take out the Starmie first. I wonder if Strength would do more damage, just because Thunder Punch is special, but I'm not sure. Ooh, super effective. Almost dead, because nothing can kill these water types, evidently. Oh, he looked at us funny, so our defense fell. Sherlock's defense fell. Okay, so we're just going to quick attack Starmie, because he's about down for the count. Not brick break our own bird, because that would be offensive and terrible and rude. Go Reginald! Go Sherlock, actually, who just leveled up and got a lot of special defense, which is, you know, pretty pretty standard for Sherlock. Taking you out, Citra. So, I'm so excited. Me and uh, me and Nick, actually, Nick and I, um, have started our, like, transcontinental Pokemon journey, and I'm playing, like, DS versions, or, well, and Game Boy Advance versions of all the generations and going through them in order. And hopefully I'm going to, like, compile all the teams together at the end, which would be pretty entertaining. Try to catch, you know, a lot of them. I don't... Catching them all has never been my thing, but collecting a bunch is pretty cool. Now, I actually would like to know if any of my viewers have ever caught every single one of them, because that would be legit. So, um, I'm actually just going to fly there. See you guys in a second. Now, you folks do not know how tempted I was to give my dude Dream Eater. You can get Dream Eater. I'm pretty sure it's Dream, e Dream Eater. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I was tempted to give it to uh, Rasta because 
It's a pretty good move. I mean, it fits his flavor, the healing, and the... Oh, great. Look at all these guys. Should I fight him? I should fight him. I might off-screen him, though. Sorry, folks. <laughs> you must be running out of steam by now. So, uh, that trainer actually proved to be pretty tough. He took out Reginald. I mean, he did get, you know, a super lucky ultimate rock blast off on me, but... Let's take on this guy real quick. Roar! I'm working myself into a rage. Now, like I was saying, though, that guy was really tough. I, I'm getting kind of nervous for the team. Yep, that's what I'm talking about, fighting types. I was thinking maybe it was all ground, because that guy had, like, five ground guys, but, you know, there's a mix. Um, fudge. It's not good. See, look, this is level 40 Machop. Like, it should not be doing that. I mean, revenge is a powerful move if I attack first, but uh, I don't know. I think my team's lagging, guys. I think my team's lagging. It's really unfortunate, because we were we were baller status earlier, and I'm, I think I promised not to say that in another video, but I just broke that already. No, oh, I thought he was going to kill me. I looked away from the screen to say that, and then I looked back up, and luckily I was alive. Alright, so Jalapeno lives to fight another day, I think. God, look at that. That's probably going to be a good level up, I feel like. Eh, decent, 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 decent. Okay. Man, yeah, he's upset. He's not, he's not too, he's not too pleased with me. So we're going to switch you out for you. I'm going to have to heal before this gym leader for sure. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. And let's go see what's up here. I guess we can take on this chump. The truly talented win with style. Honestly, I've never seen Doodle show such an like like such a level of destruction as she is this episode. She's just destroying all of their ground types. Frick. <laughs> I'm gonna to go around now. I'm the karate king, you'll fake rest with me. Um stop please. Okay, he only has three Pokemon. That's that's good news. I wish I had Pidgeot, uh, Reginald, sorry, to help me out against these things, but I guess we'll have to use Eddie's Aerial Ace. God dang it, Eddie. None of your Aerial Aces ever kill anything. Now you're getting revenged. He is seeking revenge on your face, Eddie. Oh my gosh. So, I picked up the first episode of The Walking Dead, the, the game on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Now... That would be a extremely fun let's play, first off. Secondly, that game stresses me out so much because it's not that the like you know, it's not like it's scary or anything, it's just a it's just, you know, a conversation based game mostly. But uh the fact you have to pick the conversation so quickly, I'm so bad at that. Like so freaking bad at that. It's so bad. I just said bad like twenty times. Alright, Macho, that's what you're gonna pull out. Alright, Eddie. Time to show this Macho what's up. Everybody's now, Machoke is probably gonna. Eh, okay, I was see. I was thinking of another revenge on me, but and I hope I'm hitting my fingers crossed. My roommate's Tycho is not picking up right now. He has been on this kick for like the past four days. Someone call the police. Help me. Okay, that was my SOS. And now to finish this complicated gym. I don't know. I actually don't remember which ways you have to go. I guess we could go over here and go take on this chump. Chump nugget. Or avoid him. We could do that too. I'm going to figure out how to get through here. And then hopefully go fight that gym leader. I don't think this is going to do a whole lot. Gosh darn it. The Viridian gym was closed for a long time. But now our leader is back. Yeah, he was he's a jerk. He's the leader of Team Rocket. He's trying to steal other people's Pokemon. Oh my god, they always have so many. I guess these battles have been extremely interesting, so I'm going to show this one. Um, We're going to dig out of the way of the Sand Slash. Hopefully it doesn't also know dig, but Eddie is running low on health. Oh, it's going to show off its nice Flash Attack that, you know, we got rid of discarded for cut. But, um, oh, don't get a crit. Don't get a crit. At least we're faster. And I was going to say we're going to Aerial Ace, but that actually might be a... Well, I would have won anyways, but still. Ooh. Do you guys think a non-critical Aerial Ace will win this for us? Yes, it did. Okay, sweet. Alright, Eddie. You've had enough. You've done your job today. 
You see, guys, do you guys see that defense? Do you folks see that defense? It's so sweet. Um, let's switch to Sherlock just because my other guys are such high levels right now. And they're probably going to be seeing the most uh, fight during the gym, so. Sand Slash. Let's metronome, see if we can get something cool. And if we can't, then we're going straight to the brick break. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> Spark. <laughs> Very effective. Thank you. Thank you. No, Shiki Shucks. Shiki Shucks, yeah. Octazuka. Fun. Why do you have to miss? Oh, every time. Brick break. break. Uh, you deserve a mega punch to the face, Saiyan Slash. Actually, no, you know what? Sherlock deserves a mega punch to the face. That's who deserves a mega punch to the face. We're gonna mention him one more time, trying to get that sweet, sweet surf. What the frick? Like you could be more useless, Sherlock. Did you just splash? Not the good kind of splash either. Okay. So I think Sherlock's. <sighs> See, this is a good thing. It's a good thing I want to show this fight because. You guys would not have believed me if it was like, Sherlock, you splashed, and then he ended up with one life, and then this happened, and then I switched out because now he was about to die. It's jalapeno. I was going to dig his face off. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, Samuel. Samuel. Time for you to meet your mega. And by... Oh, I saw a hilarious comic. Okay, have you guys ever noticed that you black out after, well, I think it might say white it out, I don't remember which one it says, but you black out after you die. See, you just don't die then enough, so I wouldn't know. But, uh, like, what makes you freak out and, like, not see and fall unconscious if your Pokemon have fainted? That doesn't make any sense. Just an observation. But I saw a comic that was a pretty hilarious thing of, uh, Oak smacking your trainer's head because... I don't know. It was just funny. It was funny. Shut up. Listen to me. Please. Please listen to me. Go doodle. Okay. Nidorino. You are going to lose to surf. Now, I'm telling you guys right now, Doodle is kicking some serious can. Kick up some serious can! Uh, Nido King is so cool. So, so, so cool looking. Uh, actually, in my transcontinental Pokemon journey, I am using a Nido Queen because I like her stats better. But Nido King is definitely the cooler of the two. I was beaten, and I just have like I don't know. I like naming my Nido Queen Daisy because it kind of reminds me of a cow for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna go heal real quick, but I will be back into this gym to take it on. All right, time to solve this mystery. <laughs> Aw, oh, fudge. I don't want to do this. Oh, I think I was supposed to move him. And then... I may have... I may have goofed. I may have goofed. Oh, no. Now he's gone, though. Now, he, now he's already out of the way. Okay, that was really easy, actually. And going back is was, like, the best decision I ever made. So let's see here. Eddie, I don't want you out first. We're going to have... Against my better judgment, Reginald out first. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Hey, right, Giovanni. You want to tussle? You want to tussle, Giovanni? With your Master Ball and your five Pokemon. All right, so Rhyhorn is going to be be problematic for us, but Steel Wing, hopefully, will do enough damage to defeat Rhyhorn. Unless it starts rock blasting me and hits me five times. But that would never happen, correct? Yes! And we get the scary face not to hit me. Original new Steel Wing! <laughs> Coming in like a fighter pilot. Alright, so that scary face did, did uh, land. It was successful. And, uh, <laughs> land, because I was just talking about how Reginald is a fighter pilot or whatever. Man. Anyways, so Rhyhorn's about to faint. That's the point of the story. The moral of the story is that Rhyhorn's going to faint. And now, we're going to bring out someone different because Reginald speeds down. I don't really want to hand deal with that. Switch, switch to Sherlock. Go, Sherlock. I want to make this entertaining. I want... I want him to see all of my Pokemon. See how I've grown. 
Wow, they're a lot higher level than I am. So, I'm going to definitely have to do some training for the uh, league. I am thinking of doing all the trainer battles in the Elite Four, which will... Like, I don't know. I, I can definitely think of some fun topics and, you know, make it entertaining for us. But I think I might do that just because I actually need to do those. And um, that means that that uh, dungeon will be a little bit longer. But probably not too much longer. Maybe two episodes. Maybe three. That's the most. So, All right. Doug Trio, here you go. Doug Trio, here you go. It's going to use Earthquake and make me have a bad day. Okay. Critical hit. Actually, not going to make me have a bad day, really. Rasta has uh, proven her worth so much, time and time again. All of my Pokemon have, besides Reginald. But I think Reginald's cool, so me. Alright, Nido Queen. One of my favorites. Um, let's... Let's use Jalapeno, because... Well, because I want to use a different Pokemon, and we can dig. We could always dig. That's what we're going to do, actually, so. Burn, Man of Queen! I'm angry. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. You know what, Nino Queen? Forget you! Forget you! I'm going to surf. And uh, hopefully take this thing out. God, I didn't even think of that. So I dug underground. Earthquake still hits. Uh, I don't know if it does more damage, but it definitely just knocked me right out. So, sorry. Yeah, sweet level up. I was about to use Nino King. Um, who are we going to use to fight Nino King? Forget it. Reginald, it's your time to shine. Dodge its Earthquake and fly at it with might. I think his best guy was at Rhyhorn. Why didn't he have a Rhydon? I don't know. Alright, thrashing around. Not a big deal. Not an issue. Unfortunately, Reginald always makes battles so much... <sighs> Fudge. Really? Okay. It wouldn't be the last gym fight if I wasn't poisoned, you know? Only fitting. Poetic justice. Flying to the air, Reginald. Take this dude out. Look how menacing he looks. God dang it, Reginald's still suffering that damage. And he still has life potions, which I don't know if he'll use, but most likely. And if he does, we'll heal Reginald up. Hell, I think we might heal Reginald. Actually, ah, I made the mistake. I didn't know if he would do it or not, and he totally would have. I don't know why I thought that. But I was going to like try, and uh, poor Reginald. No, I'm sorry. Unless, unless... Actually, he just healed, so he didn't actually smack himself in the face. So it's time to hunt for a full restore. I'm... I have one. But we're going to use it, because this is for Reginald. And he deserves the best. Yeah! Flying through the air. Full heal. On your confusion? Wow. Really useful, bro. Hands... Hats off to you, sir for having the guts to uh, waste that. I wish I had a better status ailment to be like, hey, hey, you messed up. Oh, right, there's Reginald Poison again. That's okay this time. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I can uh, avoid him healing again. But who knows? He's been smart so thus far. Come on, Reginald. Everyone's rooting for you right now. Reginald, don't miss. Don't do anything... Goofy, yes, and take him down with your fly. That's gonna send our Reginald to level 43. Woohoo! Okay, Reginald, good level 43. Player defeated Giovanni. Ha! That was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Thanks, dude. It means a lot coming from you, you evil genius. Five thousand bucks. I guess that's good. Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it as a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. I think that's going to be Earthquake, which is awesome. I don't know who I'm going to give it to yet, but uh, it's going to do some sweet damage. I could give it to Eddie. We'll see. But um, 
as always, thank you for watching. So awesome of you. Um, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed myself. I had a lot of fun making this today, and I hope to get back into things a little bit more vigorously soon. So, once again, thanks for watching, and everybody have a great day.